All right, man. So look, I came across another crazy video for y'all. Now, this right here is disgusting. Okay, it's it's seriously disgusting. I'm gonna break it down and just give y'all a little rundown of what this whole situation is okay because they didn't really explain it in the video so let me do a little run now so i need y'all to do me a big favor first hit the like button subscribe to the post notifications what is y'all doing turn on the post notifications all right subscribe to the channel i promise you it's lit over here we get lit baby you know what i'm saying also follow your boy on ig it's all in the link description box below without further ado all right now let me give you this rundown so basically this is a uh it's a woman or a girl whatever you want to call it. okay it's a transsexual um and she went around miami or whatever or she didn't let people know that she was a a male that she was born a male uh she went through all the transitions she got the little got the little things that women have you know little bjjs and things like that things of that nature so she went through the whole entire transition but she didn't let guys know that she was transgender and so she went on social media and she exposed every guy that she done slept with famous people with that she exposed every rapper every nfl player whatever everybody that she done slept with um or was about to sleep with and now she playing with people's lives and she playing with her own life because you know straight guys don't play like that so yeah we've been going into the video this is her response this is what she feels like this is this is what's coming from her heart and how she feel about the whole situation that went down anyways let's get it let's go okay this society is ridiculous i can't believe this actually happened why you never told them niggas that she was a man she feels like a woman and doesn't oh. think she has to say anything. I still Why, feel like okay. My whole thing is, I just feel like that's that's disrespectful, Hennessy, because it's just like, but bro. Me, but me and you had this discussion earlier, though. okay. But like, you on the live now. Why do you feel like, like okay? Is, the thing I don't like doing is, is repeating the same thing over and over. Me, and um, well, you have a lot of people homes that you destroy, so it's not gonna... my business. Oh, that's, that's not your business. Do. No, it's not. I don't got shit to do with me. That don't have shit to do with you, but you're exposing people. I had this talk earlier. You said you and you said you was gonna come on a live, and you said we did have a talk, and, and, and you, you said you was gonna come on the live. Stop making it seem like we had a different conversation. I'm gonna let you know everybody you know what conversation we had. Different conversation because I literally told you I said we mean you have two different opinions on how we view shit. Okay, and I told you, I told you to come on a live and tell your side of the story. And I, said, I will, but not right now because I'm still looking through these pictures. That's what I'm not saying. right now, and this ain't got nothing to do with you. What am I supposed to do? Did they know you was a trainee or you wasn't honest with them? Be honest. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so like all the niggas you posted, did they know you was a trainee? Was you honest with them or you wasn't honest with them? No, when I got my shit removed, I ain't need to feel. I ain't like working. Oh, you so, so she? Oh, hold on, wait, cause she almost. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll pause way too early, boy. You need to tell nobody. That's not your place. You need to tell nobody. That's not your place. Mm -hmm. I cut it off, so it was like niggas don't give a fuck, like niggas fucking put like what? Like, I get what you're saying. I ain't I never, I never in a relationship with these niggas. These niggas are trying to spend the last rest of their life for me. We just trying to hit in credit. See, see, this is the thing though, and this is this is why I feel as if this is disgusting because I feel like even though you got everything removed, you still need to let a person know because that still looks bad on us. You know what I'm saying? That still looks bad on a guy that intentionally had you know an intercourse with you it just looks bad because it's like damn bro you didn't let me know you was a man i don't care if you got to cut it off or not bro you was born to do i basically just slept with a dude i don't care if you no i gotta cut it off like no you're still not biologically a, a woman so let's say if i did want a relationship with you and i wanted to have kids guess what i can't do that because i'm with a man okay and i don't know that now seriously it's i feel like you need to let people know this is honestly disgusting like this is goes on in the um and the lgbtq community a lot it's like they don't some of them don't allow don't let people know that they was born this or they was born that they just instantly oh well, i got everything removed so i feel like it doesn't matter no it does matter it seriously does matter because what if somebody really want a relationship with you biologically you're not a biologically you're not a woman so therefore if i wanted a kid i can't do that because guess what guys oh my gosh did you guys know that man can't get pregnant <laughs> so i could either have a kid if i wanted to and that's what I'm saying. That This is why the video is so disgusting. Then you say this ain't none of your business. Why go out and expose these dudes and you didn't tell them that you was a man? Like, bro, it got so bad that these dudes are out here getting lie detector tests. First of all, I don't know if y'all don't know. I don't know if y'all dumb or not. But, bro, if we seen you on video in her crib, do you really think that a lie detector test, we're going to believe a lie detector test after we just seen... Video proof of you and this chick crib. 
this is this is truly this is truly bothering me because it's like, bro, you this is why you gotta ask women like Man, it's so hard out here. I swear, bro. They got all these goddamn surgeries. I could, bro. I wouldn't even tell that this was a one. I mean, a man. I wouldn't even be able to tell. This is her on the screen. I, him, whatever you want to call. This is this is the person. She's on the screen. I couldn't even tell that this is honestly a man. And you can't even tell by the voice. She got everything removed. She's physically a woman, but biologically, this is a man. Why the fuck I'm gonna sit here and say some dumb shit like, oh yeah, this is like what? Like that little nigga wanna hear that? No bullshit like that. And if I was a nigga, I wouldn't even really give a fuck. If I was a nigga, if like if I went to bitch, but you have to be like, honest though. You playing with people's lives and stuff like that. I'm not playing with nobody's life because they, they're not those. Not, these are not these are not important people in my life. These people that I'm in, they not they, and the niggas I'm meeting in my life, they not my husband, they not my niggas. Hey, these are hidden. I understand, so but you niggas. gotta be, you know, you gotta be honest. But it's okay though. But so my question to you is, all the niggas you post, you really this, fuck them? This is just all, this is just all about like perspective and like opinion. Like, True, that's real. That's real. Way. That's you right. that way, like yeah, and I understand. I understand that perspective. A lot of people would agree with you, yes, but a, pe a lot of people would also agree with me. You know, this is like a city girl generation. So <laughs> don't know, bitch, give a fuck about it, nigga. Bitches. She said, "A city girl generation." This, <laughs> bro, uh, dog, a city girl generation. This is why. I, this is why it's so hard to even date in this generation because, first of all, you don't know. You don't know what's real, what's fake, because bro, they got all these god dang surgeries. I can't tell if you're you they can't tell if you're natural or if you're fake. I don't know what you are. I can't tell if you're a man or a woman. It's so hard. I say pull down your pants and I, I may not see a dang lane. I may see something that I actually like because you got it all removed and you don't tell me. And you don't tell me, oh, I'm biologically a male. It's like what when was you gonna get to a point where you was gonna like what like I said, what one these dudes want in a relationship? When was you gonna get to a point to say, Oh yeah, by the way, I'm biologically a male? Like when was you gonna get to that 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 point? Seriously. I'm I'm curious, was it gonna get to the point where he finally said, Oh, I want kids? Like when was it gonna get to that point? <sighs> then she said, Oh, I'm not ruining anybody's lives. I'm not yes, you are. You ruin a lot of people's lives, a lot of people image. You ruin them, you ruin their image. Seriously, because now they're being looked at like, bro, you're 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 the G word. You know, what I'm, I'm not gonna say it on because YouTube be tweaking. So you're the G word. You feel me? But just put two to two together, y'all get it. But I'm just saying though, you ruining their lives and then you playing with your own life because at the end of the day, a lot of dudes will take this to heart and they will come after you and trying to hurt you. I ain't talking about like just choke you or beat you. I'm talking about they might pull the gun. You feel me? Pull the trigger on you. Give a fuck about money. So if I'm getting paid, or I'm gonna sit here and try to jeopardize me getting paid by telling you some shit that don't even really matter. Like if I'm gonna get paid, I'm not. So you feel like, like you know. being a nigga and you cut your dick and you change it to a pussy, you don't matter to another nigga. This is a city girl generation. Oh, okay. I don't give a fuck about no nigga. You heard that? Don't know, bitch, give a fuck. Do you hear that shit? So my question is, all the things you post, are you really fucking? This is just all about, like, perspective and, like, opinion. Like, True, that's, that's real, that's real. Way. That's you right. know that way, like, yeah, and I understand, I understand that perspective. A lot of people would agree with you, yes, but a, piece, a lot of people would also agree with me. You know, this is like a city girl generation. So, don't no bitch give a fuck about no nigga. Bitches give a fuck about money. So if I'm getting paid, or I'm going to sit here and try to jeopardize me getting paid, by telling you some shit that don't even really matter. Like, if I'm going to get paid, I'm going to tell you for, like, you being... Bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that video. Y'all sis, let me know in the comment section, how do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel like it was okay with what she did? Do y'all feel like she was in the wrong for what she did? Because me personally, I feel like she was in the wrong. I feel like it should never get to a point where you're over here having having sexual intercourse with a person and you're not telling them what you really are. You know what I'm saying? Even though you may not look like it. You may not look like it. They may be in the moment, not even realizing, it, may not even ask. But at the end of the day, it's like, that's still your responsibility to let a person know, like, look, I'm biologically male just to let you know. So are you sure you want to proceed with the actions that you're trying to evade? You still got to let a person know. You talking about it's a city girl generation. Girls don't give a, give a F about these dudes. No, it's just you, you freaking simple-minded women. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not even women. Y'all little girls. Y'all still, y'all 30 years old, still have a mindset of a little girl. I feel like if you 35 and up, I feel like you should be selling down with a person. 
You coming out here hopping, hopping D to D, hopping D, like, bro, that's just unattractive, period. Unattractive, period. I ain't even talking about body count. I'm just talking about you being a little slut. That's just unattractive, period. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you a male. You a male, bro. You is a whole male out here. A whole dude. And you sound so emotional. I don't care if you change your gender or not, bro. By logic, you still a male, bro. Get into that masculine energy, bro. Stop out here being all, oh, it's a city girl gender. I'm going to get played and this and that. Like, bro, what, what is to you? What is to you? Like, seriously, bro, you people need to really grow up. You need to grow up. I ain't saying you got to settle down at 20, 19. I ain't saying you got to settle down at a young age. But, bro, you reaching that age, it's time for you to backtrack a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You going into your 40s and you still hopping around. Bro, y'all tripping. Y'all seriously tripping. But to each his own. I can't judge it. it, it to each his own, bro. To each his own. I just pray that everybody get their life to Christ. That's all I do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, was this the right thing to do? Was she in the wrong? He in the wrong? Man, I don't know. I'm just calling she. I don't I don't know no more. I don't care. These pro. I don't care no more. I seriously don't care. You want to be called them? Them. I don't care. Anyways, uh. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.